Today is November the 30th. Sorry if I'm talking really, really quiet. My roommate's still sleeping. But last day of November, none of that shit fucking matters. It's the first leg day I have since my Achilles injury. So a couple weeks ago, I was doing a boxing workout and I strained my Achilles. So I took two weeks off from legs, which sucks because it's my favorite workout of the week. Uh, that's why I do push pull legs because I get to do it twice a week now. Um, so today is the first day back. So we're gonna go ahead and walk you guys through a leg workout. Don't know how intense it's really gonna be, but it should be a good one either way. And also, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I do on grocery runs and things like that. Uh, if you've followed me on Instagram, you know I put a reel on like Instacart and how to make it easy and not have to go shopping if you don't wanna do that. But today we're gonna go into a grocery store, probably Publix or Aldi, and I'm gonna walk you guys through and show you exactly what I buy, what the costs are, break it down, so that way you have an understanding of what everything really is, so that way it saves you some time, hopefully it saves you some money, and it gives you some great information moving forward. But I'm gonna go ahead and crush this breakfast, what's on the menu for breakfast, egg whites and bread, high carb day today, so that just means more carbs, so I get more bread. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Good morning. Hey, How are you? Good. What do you guys got going on? A retro party later. That's pretty cool. All right, thank you. First thing we're gonna do for this leg day is we're gonna make sure we are properly warmed up. So I'm gonna go through some ankle and hip mobility. It's that way I'm ready to go when it's time to squat because we are doing not only back squats with the barbell, but we're also doing some pack squats. So a lot of movements, a lot of compound movements. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get it going. Now that we did some mobility warm-ups, we're gonna do some warm-up exercises, a superset of three sets of 10 on leg extensions. 
and line leg curls. The goal for this is to do some slow pause reps so that way we get the blood flow going in our legs before we hit the squats. Superset. Now we're gonna go ahead and get to a barbell back squat. So what we're gonna do, <coughs> excuse me, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do four sets of five on back squat. Try to go for really good depth. Not really caring about the weight right now because it's my first time squatting in two weeks. So more just worried about form. I will do a little bit of weight. Probably max I'll do is maybe 80% of my max, which is 405, not a lot. But that's the workout, four sets of five, good form. That's what we're focused on. Just hit squats, felt a little heavy. That's to be expected with the time off and everything. But felt really good to be back into doing compound movements. What we're gonna do is something I call going in for the kill now, is I'm going immediately into a superset with pack squats and then also body weight lunges. So I'm going for four sets of 12 to 15 on the hack squat and then basically just a, a down and back set of walking lunges. And I'll walk you through it through the video so you see because it's a pretty long distance. So this is gonna murder my quads and hopefully get a, a decent pump going. Got a massive leg pump going on right now. So I'm gonna take some of the stress off my lower back and we're gonna go into the last couple workouts. So right now what we're about to do is some seated calf raises. Try to isolate that movement all on the calf. Get a pump there going as well because I got little baby calves. So I gotta keep those things growing. Um, and then we're gonna finish up with some uh, good girls. What did he say? Hey. Hit the inside of my quad and that'll be it. I'm super exhausted, but love it every minute of this. So the last workout we're gonna do, what is it called? I never remember. It's called the adductor machine, or I just call it the girl. My version of what the name is of this workout. Uh, so we're gonna do this. We're just gonna do a cool down workout. So hitting three sets of this. Again, slow control reps. Just really trying to keep the blood flow on the inner part of my quads. Uh, have a nice filthy pump. Be done. So I'll get out here and go about my day.
are currently in Aldi and what I'm gonna be going through and showing you guys is if I wasn't using Instacart, how I would grocery shop and actually be, or what I would do inside the grocery store and the things that I would look for. So how this is gonna work is it's gonna be based off of how I'm currently eating right now and uh, on all of my macros. So how I would separate the meals and just try to make it as easy as possible. If you guys have anything more you would like to see in this video, just go ahead and uh, send me some comments below and I'll try to work it in the next one. So the reason I chose Aldi over like going to Walmart, Publix, Kroger, Sprouts, anything like that is just because it's so organized. Literally when you walk in, it's literally like a maze. You go back and forth on each aisle and it makes it super simple. I'm all about trying to save as much time as possible with certain things. So that way I'm not stressing about where to find certain items. The other reason is, it's just because it's very budget friendly here. They got a lot of off brand things. So, I mean, now I see that they do have like actual cinnamon toast crunch they when i first started shopping at aldi's was like when i was in college my grandparents put me on this i did not ever find these here but now that they got them it's pretty cool so they're actually getting some uh, name brand things all right so another essential for me is like i'm very strict about just eating chicken rice or mixing up the, the carb source with like pasta or anything like that but if i'm just eating chicken and rice a lot i tend to put things on it one of my favorite things to put on it is probably barbecue sauce just because it tastes really good and calories aren't that crazy it's only 70 calories per serving so i think that's safe and if you look at some of these other guys you know they'll go super strict i'm just not you know one to do that yet maybe i will later down the road if if i compete or something like that but for right now just trying to get a nice lean look um i find it okay just to put you know certain condiments on it because i don't find like barbecue sauce or ketchup or other things have that much in calories so you can play it safe something about me with eating is i am definitely a snacker so what helps me during like meal preps and things like that so that way i stay satiated per, uh, between meals as i normally have like a piece of fruit so my favorite fruit is definitely oranges or i'll grab some type of nuts and my favorite thing is definitely almonds i try to get the unsalted ones just to keep my sodium levels down but yeah just to help out between meals these are kind of things i would eat Another quick thing, I, like I said, I'm trying to save time when I meal prep. So before I used to cook all my rice in a rice cooker, I don't think it takes that much time, but to save myself some time, what I've been finding myself doing is buying things like this or like this. I mean, well, it's the same thing, but uh, these types of rice, I mean, literally you throw them in the microwave for about a minute and they can probably serve you up to one to two meals. So yes, you'll spend a little bit more because it's pre-cooked, but it's gonna save you some time so you don't have to stress about preparing all these meals a quick source of protein i'm not really a fish guy but i do know like every now and then if i'm like on a road trip and i want to get some protein in i will find myself grabbing something like this some packaged tuna because uh, it doesn't taste as bad like you can see this one is zesty lemon pepper and then they got like a sweet spicy one so uh, they taste a lot better than just normal canned tuna and if you look at it one serving of this is a pouch and you get 14 grams of protein. So it's an excellent source, it keeps you low on calories because this whole thing is only 80 calories. So it really helps out a lot. So as you know, on Instacart, I do buy some pre-made grilled chicken. Uh, if I couldn't buy that, what I'd be looking for in the store is something like this. So this is grilled chicken strips. It works the exact same way, it's pre-cooked. All you have to do is either throw it in the microwave or throw it in the air fryer and uh, you got chicken made. You don't have to worry about prepping it and all the, you know, marinade, seasonings, doing all that crap. This is actually way easier than what I do uh, because it's already cut up. So it saves me one less step. So if I wasn't doing what I had in Instacart, I would definitely be looking for this. So I am really not a big vegetable eater. I try to find supplements that like can take over me having to cook and eat vegetables. But uh, when I was in college before I knew a lot of the stuff I did now is I would just go ahead and buy these uh, frozen vegetable packs. And I always try to find something that's like around stir fry and mix. Uh, because it just tastes a lot better and you got an assortment instead of just eating straight broccoli or you know green beans or asparagus or something like that plus you put this in the microwave for literally a minute and it's ready to go and they're only a dollar a piece so it this will definitely last you at least two meals and it makes it a lot easier all right that's a wrap uh for leg day and some grocery tips i really appreciate you guys for watching this video and, and tagging along with me on this journey super excited like i said for for what's coming next and and everything like that um you know we're also nearing the end of 75 hard so i'm going to try to incorporate a day in the life of what it's like to go through 75 hard for me so that way you guys have an understanding of what it may be like if you wanted to do it yourself but again thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm gonna go ahead and uh keep going on with my day i got some more things i gotta do like reading and, and going for my walk but appreciate it 
Love you guys. Subscribe and like for this video. Comment on anything you guys want to see more of or things I can get better at. I appreciate all the feedback uh, so much. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate that stuff. So I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoy your week and your weekend. And yeah, thank you so much.